Greg and Russell. Welcome to Australian Musician. Thanks, Greg. Uh, we're here uh, talking about Timberline harp guitars. Uh, harp guitars go back a little way. What, what do you know about them? Well, uh, the harp guitar has been around for over a hundred years. What I do know about them is uh, they started out in America um, and they over from about 1908 onwards they sort of rose in popularity a fair bit um, and then they kind of vanished for quite a while. They were quite popular pre-amplification, they were something that were used in big bands. Uh, you might find a, like an accordion orchestra might have one or a mandolin orchestra might have a harp guitar or two in them as well. Um, then kind of in the, in the 80s they were revived slightly by guys like Michael Hedges. He brought out um, an album that had some harp guitar music on it which was quite beautiful. Uh, since then there's been a, a, another revival probably in the early 2000s I'd say. Um, guys like Andy McKee and Anton Dufour, um, Jamie Dupuy, he's as well, he's from Canada. Uh, these guys have, uh, yeah, risen to, risen to fame using them. Yeah. Uh, and tell me about the, the Timberline brand. When they started, who's uh, involved? Sure. So uh, the Timberline brand has had a couple of, a couple of goes at it. Uh, back about uh, early 2000s, Rob Smith from the States, he brought out the Timberline brand. Uh, but in the, about two or three years ago, Rob decided he wanted to build a harp guitar um, as for his first go at it. And there's another guy in the States called Greg Miner. He runs a website called harpguitars.net. He's, uh, you know, the, the guy to go to if you want to talk about buying and selling harp guitars. The two of them work together to uh, develop the harp guitar that we see today in front of us. This is the T30, uh, the auditorium style over here. Uh, this is kind of based on their award-winning auditorium style uh, six-string acoustic guitar. And then uh, just this summer nam, and we brought out the parlor guitar here as well. So. What's the actual concept of the, uh, the double neck? How does that work? Yeah, it's an interesting concept. So we have the standard six strings here. These are, there's 20 frets on the guitar with uh, six strings on it, so you have 120 notes there. And then over here, on, this, on these particular models, we have six sub-bass strings. So you can tune these however you want to. I've got them tuned in a particular way for, you know, just for general play, uh, using a C major scale. But uh, basically what happens is, because we have the longer arm here, we get a lot more resonance inside the guitar. It's, it's a beautiful, big, reverberated sound, quite unlike anything else. Uh, what are the materials that, uh, that Rob uses in his guitars? Yeah, so all of the Timberline harp guitars use all solid wood. There's no laminates in here. Uh, we're using um, tropical mahogany front, back and sides. Uh, we're also using um, acacia woods as well, front, back and sides, as well as silk wood uh, for all the models. We've got Macassar ebony for the fingerboard as well as for the saddle. Uh, we're using gold uh, Grover tuners, 18 to 1 ratios on the top here. Uh, yeah, abalone and mother of pearl around the sound holes as well. There's two sound holes on these things. Tusk nuts and saddles as well. So it's all good, good quality componentry. Uh, the Summer Nam show uh, in Nashville uh, has just finished up. That's right. Um, I believe that Timberline uh, created quite a stir there. It was the biggest year for them actually at the show. I'm quite surprised. It was a, the Summer Nam, as you know, is a follow up from the um, Chad Atkins appreciation. Uh, event which happens a few days beforehand and we have all the guitar aficionados from around the world or both of these shows. We had um, a guy called George Gruen, you may know of, uh, from Gruen's Guitars. He was just absolutely blown away by these guitars. Um, and then at the Summer Name show we just, it was, you know, back to back all day. People were just trying them and if you check out the social media posts that we're putting up, just everyone's got massive smiles on their faces, they're loving them. What sort of artist uh, would these instruments appeal to? Well, across the board, I would say, to be honest with you. I mean, we've, we've seen a, uh, you know, a growth in acoustic guitar playing over the last couple of years. Uh, finger style and folk style players are coming out. Percussive pl players are using them. But I'm also getting inquiries from metalers, from death metal players as well. You know, they're looking for something different, people that are interested in exploring. I, I think they're fantastic for composition as well. You're able to grab things that you know uh, you couldn't normally do on an acoustic guitar. If the guitar is your primary composition instrument, you know being able to play over a bass note or over something that you couldn't actually reach beforehand is such a bonus. Uh, are they being used on many recordings currently? 
Well, yeah. I mean, there are albums out there. In fact, um, Jamie from Canada, uh, he just released an album not two weeks ago of just harp guitar material. You've got to remember guys like Stephen Bennett. You know, this is an instrument that's been played through classical music for a long time and it's maintained. So, yeah, it's coming out every day. Uh, you're going to be displaying the guitars at the Melbourne Guitar Show? Very excited about that as well. Um, what will you be, uh, or how many guitars will you have there? Well, I actually brought in six into the country, and these are the only two that I've got left. So these will be the two that will be at the show here. Um, you can come and check them out for yourselves. Uh, these are just, uh, they're indicative of the models that we do have. These are a good mid-range mid guitar. Uh, you've got the two sizes as well, so you'll be able to get a feel for them. You can come and try them out. It'll be a lot of fun. That's the great thing about the guitar show is you, you can always uh, find the latest Les Paul or the latest Strat, uh, but also there are uh, new discoveries and, um, and curiosities and uh, this is certainly going to appeal to the people that are looking for something different. Well that's exactly right. I mean I've wanted one for about 25 years, I'll say that much, and I know there are a lot of people out there that are keen on them as well, so like I say, come down and try them out. I think they're, for the first time, we're actually getting a really good quality instrument that's uh, affordable. Yeah. yeah. Um, just how affordable are they? Well, uh, the entry level model starts under two and a half grand, so we're looking at uh, 2,400 for that. That includes the custom made case that we have over here, the, the Pro Gig Bag. Uh, these aren't just off the rack, these are actually made specifically for the models as well. So, yeah, all in all, you're getting a good price. And the, the top model, the T70, uh, goes for just over three and a half thousand dollars. We uh, look forward to seeing you and the guitars at the guitar show. Thank you very much, Greg. Looking forward to it.